Hello everyone. I welcome you all in this video lecture. In this video lecture, we will see different system of correct electrification based on the availability of power in overhead network. We have different system of correct electrification. First of all, let us see the classification of uh, correct electrification we have dc system as well as we have ac system and we have additionally composite system so correct electrification system broadly classified in three category and we have sub category also in case of ac system we have different three category Single phase low frequency AC system, single phase high frequency AC system, and three phase AC system. Same way in composite system, we have two category. One is a candle system, and another that is AC to DC system. So this is the entire classification of currently applicable system of track electrification will start with DC system we use a DC series type of electric motor to get the motive power sometimes we use a DC compound motor also for a tramways operative voltage normally it is 600 to 750 volt for tramways and suburban railways also we use a 1500 to 3000 volt for mainline system also in bombay suburban trains we use a 1500 volt dc system supply we get supply from the overhead dc line by means of bow collector or pantograph and the rail track is used as a written conductor overhead wire that is known as a catenary is fed from substations at different intervals and substations are receiving power from national grid we have different uh, spacing between substation and that depends on the operative voltage. Now let us see general arrangement of DC system through a block diagram. We receive power from national grid to substation. In case of DC system, we use uh, rectifier type of substation or AC to DC converting substations and then we have DC locomotive and we use DC series motor to get the motive power from the grid we get three phase AC power of 33 to 120 kV voltage and after conversion from AC to DC, the voltage DC available that is uh, in a range of 600 volt, 1500 volt or 3000 volt depends on the application whether it is tramways, suburban rails or main rails. Now we have certain advantage as well as disadvantage of DC system compared to AC system. We'll start with uh, advantage. In case of DC series motor, better speed torque characteristic is possible and the speed control is quite smooth. We can get a high starting torque smaller weight to HP ratio capable of 
attaining high rate of acceleration and retardation. Now let us start with uh, disadvantage. High cost of substation. We require number of substations. All substations are non-attended type with the supervisory control. So cost of uh, preparing the substation is very high. More number of substations are required. As we discussed earlier, the spacing between the substation depends upon the operative voltage. Additional equipment like negative boosters are required to maintain the return voltage within specified limit that again increase the cost. Current taken are more in case of low voltage and that is why the power losses increase. If we use a higher level of current, the cross-section area of conductor we use that is also increase and ultimately the cost increase. Application DC system is preferred for urban and suburban services as well as for road transport for tramways. Thank you for watching my video. Keep watching. Thank you very much.